Hi, my name is Robert Tyler. I am uh, managing partner at Tyler & Birch, a law firm in California, and uh, also the president of Advocates for Faith and Freedom, a nonprofit uh, legal organization who defends the First Amendment right to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about the Declaration of Essentiality that is being passed across the country now. It's a document that I had an opportunity to write following a uh, conversation with Pastor Jack Hibbs and other pastors who said, we want to reopen and we want to reopen on the same date. We want to be unified. Uh, in California in particular, where I sit, uh, the governor has not given any, any dates upon which churches may be reopening. He's reopening the economy with secular businesses. And, uh, but the time frame in which churches would be legally permitted to reopen is basically indefinite. There is no set time. And it's very concerning. I know it's concerning for the pastors in California and pastors across this country. We do a lot of work with churches. And as a result, uh, we've been asked to come alongside and help in this effort. We believe that it is unconstitutional uh, for these orders to prevent churches from allowing to meet in person under the same rules and guidelines as the big box stores, Costco, or a grocery store down the street, or the liquor stores. In fact, in my town, it is permissible for a smoke shop to be open, but not a church. In California, the, the essential worker list provides that entertainment studios and, and, and other establishments working with them are allowed to be open as essential workers. That would include a porn studio would be allowed to continue operating during this COVID-19 crisis, but not a church. There's something really wrong when a church is not deemed essential by the government, but such other businesses are allowed to be open. And that's what makes these orders unconstitutional, in my opinion. Now, a number of federal courts in California, the lower courts, have not ruled in favor of churches. However, the Sixth Circuit Federal Court of Appeals out of the Midwest, has ruled in favor of churches saying that it is unlawful for in-person church services to be denied by the government when they allow a grocery store or offices to be open where people do gather together. So long as the churches follow the same standards and CDC guidelines that are required of these secular enterprises. And so with that, I believe that that is the law that will prevail ultimately at the U.S. Supreme Court and across the country notwithstanding the fact that some of the lower courts have not ruled in favor of the churches. So with that said, I would encourage you as a pastor, if you want to sign this Declaration of Essentiality, I encourage you to uh, sign it. I encourage you to follow the CDC guidelines that are applicable or your local or state guidelines that may be applicable toward social distancing and things that you might do uh, to protect your flock when they do come uh, to... Uh, your church service. And uh, I also want to encourage you to talk to your insurance company. There's uh, things that you may want to consider as to whether or not this is right for you. Pastors, we are encouraged by over 800 pastors so far who have signed on to this Declaration of Essentiality, who have signed on to say we are standing up and we are reopening on the day of Pentecost, the rebirth of the church <laughs> here in 2020. So with that said, we are uh, we're here to help you. We have a team of lawyers uh, that are ready, willing, and able to support you. There's other lawyers across the country in the various regions that have also said, we want to defend your constitutional liberties. This is not intended to say that we can operate in every state because I'm licensed here in California, but in the federal court system, we do work all around the country. And it is our hope and, and desire that, uh, that you will... Uh, Seriously consider this, share this uh, Declaration of Essentiality with your congregation. Have your congregation sign it, share it with other pastors. The Declaration of Essentiality is found at tylerbirsch.com, and it's uh, written here just below me on the screen. God bless you, and uh, pray that you'll have the opportunity to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the coming days.